In this video I'm going to be looking at the solution to question 6 of the January 2011 Edexcel FP1 paper. The topic of the question is coordinate systems. The question starts by showing us a sketch of a parabola with the equation y squared equals 36x and s is the uh, focus of the parabola. We're asked first of all to find the coordinates of s and then to write down the equation of the directrix th th so the directrix is marked. In the next part of the question having done that we're told that um, P is a point on the parabola with Y greater than zero and that's indicated on the diagram and that QP is a line segment from the directrix to the point P parallel to the x-axis. We're then told that PS, the distance of P to the focus, is 25 and we're asked to write down the distance QP, find the coordinates of P and finally to find the area of the trapezium OSPQ. So taking those one at a time then, finding the coordinates of S well, we're told that the equation of the parabola is y squared is equal to 36x. And we can compare that with the standard equation y squared is equal to 4ax to see that a must be equal to 9. The focus is therefore at a0, which in this case is 9, 0. And those facts you can look up on your statistical tables. The directrix is at x equals negative a, so in this case x is equal to minus 9. These uh, were just given one mark each, so no method required, simply a statement of the results, so b1 and b1. In part c of the question, we're told that the focus, the focal distance from P to S is 25 and asked to write down the distance from P to the directrix. Well, that's just a statement of fact that QP then is equal to the distance PS, so it's equal to 25. The coordinates of P, or the X coordinate of P, is just that distance 25 minus the value of the distance from um, the axis, y-axis, to the directrix. So it's 25 minus 9, which gives us a value of 16 for the x-coordinate. And the y-coordinate we can get from the equation y squared is equal to 36x. So that means that y squared is equal to 36 multiplied by 16 and y is therefore the square root of that which is 6 multiplied by 4 or 24. We're told that y is positive so we just need to take the, um, the value plus 24 and therefore the coordinates of p are 16, 24. Finally then, going on, we, we were asked to find the area of the trapezium OSPQ, so just marking that in on the diagram at the top, OSPQ. I'm told it's a trapezium, so the area of OSPQ is equal to one half the sum of the parallel sides, so that's OS plus QP, and then multiplied by H the height, the distance between them. Putting that into there then, a half OS um, we know is the uh, distance of the focus from the origin, so that's 9. QP we've calculated as 25 and the height is simply the X value of, sorry, beg your pardon, the Y value of point P, so that's equal to 24. This turns out then to be 408, and you can put in the unit squared. 
the marking for these well again it was just a B mark for stating the value 25 another B mark for um, stating the X value or finding the X value equals a 16 and then a method and answer mark for finally giving the value of Y and the coordinates of P. Two marks for finding the area of the trapezium, a method mark for correctly writing out the um, the equation with the numbers substituted into it and an accuracy mark for the correct answer. Well, that completes the solution to this question. Solutions to other questions and indeed for other modules can be found at www.furthermaths.org.uk.